hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you won't get miss anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer like this using photoshop so let's get started here i'm going to use a five size then change it to inches my resolution is 300 then click on create so now select your color okay then i'm going to show you yes at the background i'm going to use in this tutorial drag it to photoshop I'm going to scale it out, position it well, now go to effect, Gaussian blur, then you blur it the way you want it, here I think I'm okay with this, then click OK. now reduce the opacity all right then i'm going to bring this content and all right then i'm going to the blending mode then change it to overlay reduce the opacity to your own taste I'm okay then now again I will bring this image then drag it back position it well then I'm going to my blending mode change it to soft light then reduce the opacity Now, I will bring the church logo. And position it to your own desire. And I'm going to copy the name of the church. Control C to copy. Then bring out your test tool or press T on your keyboard and I'm going to select that color and scale it out I'm going to change this color back to white because the color is dark here then after the arrangement I will do that now I'm, I'm changing the color back to white all right now the color can be symboled the font is a vertical ink serrat. Then I will expand the land spacing. So the line spacing, expand it a bit. Then 
to arrange it properly and then okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to copy copy ctrl c then bring out your test to or t on the keyboard then ctrl v to paste Reduce this size. Okay. Then I will come back to change the font to black. Then I'm changing the font to railway. Then make it bold. Okay. I'm going to copy it. Then in this place now what I'm going to show you here. Though I have them here. These are the one I'm going to use but I will show you how I made it. This is the file here. Double click to open it. Now, I'm going to copy this one. Control C to copy. And open it. Then double click off this one first. Then paste it. going to change the font uh, expand it So this one I'm doing is the sample for you to see how I made it. Now after saving it, it will come like this. Then of those one, the background and the inf and the sh light shadow of them then now what to do is to export it so here we are now you click on export then locate where you will save it then and you click ok saved That has been saved then i will close it now the one i did before i'm going to bring them in now and this is the new one i create so but well, these are the one i'm going to use in this tutorial so now you drag it to photoshop then decrease the size Position it in the area you will like it to be. Go 
position it well according to your desire now I'm going to bring the last one decrease the size Position it well. I'm okay by this. So now that I have it like this, what I'm going to do next. I'm going to apply blending option. To adjust your settings here. Do it your own preferred choice. And change the color to white. Okay. Alright, now this is normal. Reduce the opacity. Same normal. Alright. I think I prefer it this way. Alright, click OK. Then the next thing I'm going to hold down my alternate key, then you drag it up to apply the test effect to the rest. Okay, this is what I have. Now, I will bring the image and decrease the size. Then position it to your own preferred choice. Group Control G. All right. Then here I'm going to apply a brush. In my previous tutorial, the brush I used here. You will find the same brush in my previous tutorial so if you are following you can go through my previous tutorial to download then install the brush and make use of it then I'm going to rotate 
new brush all right hmm. I like it this way now what I'm going to do next I will rotate it rotating then expand it and click ok so now you copy I'm copying the name of the pastor select your test tool or T on the keyboard and control V to paste changing the color before then I will expand it again I'm going to use ray wheel Bold. Then change it to small letter. Then I'm going to close the space. Now I light the pastel and change to orange color. Then okay. So after this one, then you bring your calendar, drag it down, so now I'm going to copy my test. on your keyboard for the test to then and paste it ctrl z to reverse back now i'm going to rotate it this way Copy to T. Then paste it. Increase the size. I'm going to change the font to have vertical inserts. Control P to paste. The font I use there is the Jacqueline. Okay. Now change it to orange color and drag it down and position it to your preferred desire then we're also going to copy January T on your keyboard for the test tool and control B to paste I'm 
I'm changing the default to real world. Now you can paste it, control V. Let's scale it out. Going to duplicate it ctrl j or you drag it down to that position you see so far <laughs> to duplicate it you can also right click then and duplicate Um, and we increase the January like this we we'll reduce the size of this one okay Now, as you can see it, then the next thing I'm going to do, I will alight them and group them. So rename it as dates. now you we'll bring your time logo i mean icon after decreasing the size then you position it then copy I'm going to duplicate 30, drag it down, or you right click, then you click on duplicate, or you press Ctrl J. Select your test tool, alight and paste it. Alright, okay. Time. So, what I'm going to do is to copy the location control C then bring the icon scale it okay now select your test tool then paste control V to paste I'm changing the font then 
board and you scale it out okay position it well I'm dragging it closer now it's more bolder than before Hmm. good now I'm going to reduce the size of the icon so okay like this all right so this is how the design was made grouping them then group your background rename it shortcut BG so the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to hold and sorry before that I will duplicate this test here then I'll drag it to the pastor, then highlight it and change it to width. Okay, now I have something like this. All right. Then I'll drag it into the group where it's supposed to belong to. Now, after this, the next thing I'm going to do is to hold down my Control, Shift, and Alt, turn it key. Then I have something like this. Then go to your filter, camera raw. then play with the adjustment here to have a good look like the number i'm applying my temperature is 20 minus 22 then my tint is plus 28 Construct 22 Then my clarity 16 And the last one here, I'm going to put 27 So now this is what I have Thank you very much for working for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe